a deeply divided Israel limps toward its 75th birthday. Orit Pinhasov strongly opposes the Israeli government's proposed judicial overhaul, but you won't find her anywhere near the mass protests against the plan. She says her marriage depends on it. Pinhasov's husband sits on the opposite side of Israel's political divide, and joining the protests will only deepen what she says already are palpable tensions in her household. I don't go to the demonstrations not because I don't believe in them, she said. I don't go in order to protect my home. I feel like I'm fighting for my home. As Israel turns 75 on Wednesday, it has much to celebrate. But instead of fading its accomplishments as a regional military and economic powerhouse, the nation that arose on the ashes of the Holocaust faces perhaps its gravest existential threat yet, not from foreign enemies but from divisions within. For over three months, tens of thousands of people have rallied in the streets against what they see as an assault by an ultranationalist, religious government threatening a national identity rooted in liberal traditions.